Grab. Oh! Yeah! This is a rockfish. Oh! Limits, baby. Limit. Yes. It's a wing pod. Fish on, fish on. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of this channel. So if you guys are new to this channel, my name is Angel. How's it going? Nice to meet you. So in today's video, it is part two of that sturgeon hunt. So if you guys haven't watched part one, make sure you guys check out that part of the video before you go to this one. Because on that part of the video, we had some, you know, some action, you know, some indication of, you know, sturgeon hits. So that being said, that's the number one reason why I'm out here today, you know, hoping to land a sturgeon for you guys. So yeah, um, I'm trying something a little bit different today, working with something different. So yeah, I'm working with that eight foot medium lights Phoenix rod with a 4,500 size BG reel. For my main line, I am working with that 30 pound braid slick okay so yeah um when it comes to sturgeon fishing i know that i've always you know explained this so many times but i just have to constantly explain myself due to the fact that some people don't follow the rules and i don't want to be the reason why you know you guys get in trouble for that so yeah um when it comes to sturgeon fishing is that you have to work with a barbless hook okay guys so this is a six odd barbless hook that I've purchased from Fishery Supplies. I purchased all my gears, all my tackles from Fishery Supplies, my bait, my tackle, my rods, my reels, everything from Fishery Supplies. So if you guys want to visit my local bait shop, I'll go ahead and put the description down below. Let's get to it. So for today's bait, I am working with some ghost shrimp with a combination of night crawlers. So, the reason why I'm doing a combination is that, you know, because, you know, we're kind of like early during the season for sturgeon, but you know, this right here with a combination of earthworm and ghost shrimp can, you know, make that bite more committed. So when I say more committed, I mean that, you know, like usually when the sturgeon run is here and you would cast in, you would get an instant hit. But during the late season, this is what you would have to do like start working with you know combination bait you know experiment and you know for some apparent reason when i'm doing this i'm like able to land a sturgeon so yeah hopefully today man will be that day that i land a sturgeon for you guys so let's go ahead and put a bait so um i got some frozen ghost shrimp because they didn't have any live ones let's go ahead and just see what we can do with this i mean it's still frozen so let's just hook it through the head i can't go through the ghost shrimp because it's just too frozen ow i just hooked myself be careful not to hook yourself guys so let's just go through the head man this is really hard to work with oh my goodness i think we have to wait until this defrosts but we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen, guys. Um, let's go ahead and grab two ghost shrimp, put it together, and just wrap it with some magic thread. But yeah, it's breaking apart due to the fact that it's it's all frozen. You know, it's all like freezer burn or something. But yeah, it's all good. Sturgeons, man, sturgeons, they love old bait. So that being said, I just thought that this would work. Okay, so let's just see if I can put this frozen bait on. I mean, honestly, I would wait until this bait, you know, would defrost. But because we have such a short time period of fishing, we have to be fast. There we go. Gotta expose that hook. Just like that. See, you can make it happen even if you're working with frozen bait. 
You just gotta believe in yourself. Just like today, man, when it comes to like surgeon fishing, you have to feel, you know, confident that you'll get one. You know, you have to feel determined that today will be that day that you hook onto a sturgeon, man. Like honestly, you just gotta motivate yourself. Without motivation, you know, you can't accomplish anything in life. But yeah, got that two ghost shrimp wrapped up nicely with the hook exposed. Now, let's go ahead and add some night crawlers. Wrap it up, wrap it up, make it look messy. All right, boom. And there you go, guys. Ghost shrimp with a combination of earthworm. Let's go ahead and cast in and see what happens. Wish me luck. All right, so before I cast, I just wanna go ahead and explain my rig setup. I'm working with that Carolina rig. This is a slider with a four ounce ball weight, bead, swivel clip, and for my leader line, I'm working with 80 pound mono. Again, with a six odd barbless hook. Let's go ahead and cast in. All right guys, casting in. Wish me luck. Perfect, right there. That's the spot. All right, now we wait. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Let's go. Whoo, on a barbers, baby. Let's go. Feels like a bat ray again. Definitely a bat ray. Oh, oh, look at that, look at that, he's running. Why is he going over there? Come on, buddy. Don't make it too difficult for me. Ah, oh, it's a leopard shark. It's a leopard shark. At least we caught something different, you know? First trip was a bat ray. Second trip, leopard shark. You know, in this type of situation, when you're like stuck in the weeds, just go ahead and release your line, let the fish, you know, swim out. You know, jig it up a little bit, let them, let them swim out. So you get a better position at a different area. Go ahead, buddy, swim out. So that you, you know, you don't have to like walk through this whole mud over here. So, yeah. You know what? We're just going to go ahead and just pull them in. Into these weeds. Oh man. Damn it. Come on, buddy. There he is. We got a leopard shark, guys. Come on, buddy. I was hoping for a sturgeon, but thank you for the action. I appreciate it. Small little leopard shark. Check that out. On a barbless hook. Woo, he's wild. Oh, look, it came off. That's why I like working with Broadless Hook. Don't gotta do the extra work. But yeah, look at him making his way into the water. But yeah, check that out, guys. You got a, oh, sorry about that, buddy. If you just calm down, I will release you. So yeah, guys, this is a leopard shark. These fishes are known to be around here inside of the bay, especially like, you know, waters like this. 
you know sleuths and all that but yeah if you haven't you know caught a leopard shark if you can just fill them i don't know if you guys can hear that but yeah their skin or like sandpaper dude so yeah these leopard sharks these bat rays can be a hassle especially when sturgeon fishing but yeah with their skins their skins are just like sandpaper man let's go ahead and release this little baby baby shark do 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 baby shark back into the water you go buddy and there you go Woo! it is getting hot anyways your boy is about to go ahead and call it a day but before i do man on our first day out for sturgeon hunt we caught a bat ray on our second day out we caught a leopard shark but hey this is the whole ideal of sturgeon fishing is to come out here and observe the hits and the species of fish that you catch so that next time when you do decide to head out here you know anyways your boy is going to constantly come out here regardless bat ray leopard shark it don't matter because i am determined into getting a sturgeon no matter what okay skunk hook on to a different species it don't matter and this is how you do it you just gotta be consistent you just gotta feel motivated into getting that freaking sturgeon so yeah, this ain't over, man. This this is not the last video, okay? This is part two only. Wait for part three. All right, guys. So your boy is about to call it a day. So if you guys enjoyed the content of this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.